For 30 years, Dorian Clare has been tinkering with time at his small antique shop repair in Noe Valley. KPX 5's uh, photojournalist Rick Villaroman introduces us to the characters that make this a unique San Francisco business. Every day, like clockwork, antique clock repair technician Dorian Clare arrives at his shop of 30 years and gets ready for a day's work. He takes the time to wind his clocks and pay attention to the details of his craft. And that includes paying attention to his trusted companion, Mike, who, just like the clocks he's surrounded by, needs maintenance too. When I come in, he insists he be combed. Looking at Dorian, you might think he looks just like how a clockmaker should look, and you'd be right. At eight years old, he took apart his first clock, a gift from a friend. And 68 years later, he's still at it. For him, it's not tedious, boring, or mundane. It's about preserving history. It's somebody's family treasure, and it's now been salvaged. Walking through a shop is like walking through a time machine. Old Pennsylvania grandfather clock from the 1820s. And know it or not, put no hands on it and you've probably seen uh, his handiwork. Those are hands off the San Francisco Ferry Building. Put new ones on and roughly 2000 when I overhauled the clock and put my electric jury rig on it. Mine's been working ever since. And in case you were wondering, he doesn't mind the ticking clocks. I just seem to tune them out. Whether it's the ferry building clock Quality or the clocks in his shop, keeping them running on time isn't really work. It's fun. But keeping his protege running on time is. There's Max, amazingly. He's only 15 minutes late. Hey, Hello. See, that should have helped. A gifted clock repairman himself, Max has no illusions about his lack of time management skills, and it's irony. It's just funny how a minute can sometimes feel like exactly a minute, and sometimes it can feel like 20 minutes. I, I thought if I could fix time, maybe I could fix my, uh, my, my latencies. <laughs> it hasn't worked quite yet, but I've gotten a little better at, at least getting to places on time. I always make a habit of getting to appointments on time. Oh, I try. I try, I'm not perfect. Not no, I, no, I perfect, I precise. Think, oh, I see the problem. And that's a good quality in a clock repair technician. I'd sure like to be able to get that lever over a little more, but I- But no matter how precise, there's never enough time in the day to fix the things you want. These are grebes, they're a hundred years old now. When I get time, I'll fix them. But there's always time for some clock humor. People occasionally just open the door and stick their head in. Do you know what time it is? Well, just look around. You can find a clock that says the time you want. Looking around, you can see that's true. There are an estimated two to 400 clocks in his shop in various states of repair. Lose once a second. But no amount of precision maintenance or technical genius can stop the hands of time from turning. But he's not trying to. The fun aspect never goes away. So I keep at it. For how long? Time will tell. Clocking out in San Francisco, Rick Villaroman, KPIX 5.